Premier Registered Dietitian. Today we are going to demonstrate a simple way to make your own fire cider. You can get it at several stores and health food stores and you can also make it at home very easily. There's plenty of recipes that we will I'll put down for you but I'm going to go over the basics and today we're going to add some really fun additions like hibiscus and cranberries. You can use a food processor, however, you do not need one. You can easily use a grater. So we are going to use a lot of things that are well known for boosting our immune system, uh, boosting our digestive properties. Oftentimes, whenever you're improving your digestion function, you're automatically improving your immune system and giving yourself a boost. But we are gonna add some antivirals, anti-bacterials um, to the fire cider. And the key part to here is a really good apple cider vinegar. So if you can find it sourced in a farm, oftentimes farms in New England will have their own barrel aged apple cider vinegar. You can also do Bragg's apple cider vinegar. The key part to it is that it's unfiltered and it still has that mother in it. And so you want to look on the label to make sure that it's unfiltered. This is from a really special farm in New York called Nectar Hills Farm and they are a biodynamic farm and they really care about the soil. So I was very excited to find this and I bought a gallon of it. So we're going to use most of that today. To start with, we're going to use ginger. So we have fresh ginger and again, you could use a grater or I'm going to go ahead and start using the food processor to speed things up. Whoops, no, I'm not. Hold on. By the tablespoon you can also add it to different like dressings I make different sauces marinades with it so ginger is like a really big part of it and then we're gonna layer our jar you can choose a mason jar or you can choose I really like using these ones with the like the little hatch thing here for you so we're gonna layer all of our ingredients after we put them in the food processor. So layer of ginger, then we're going to do a layer of oranges, and this is gonna give a good, nice vitamin C. Um, red onion is going to give a bite and some antifungal properties. Um, cranberries, they're super high in vitamin C, and that's a really great addition. To this, we're gonna make it um, a hibiscus as well, so it will be like bright um, red, which isn't the color of your typical fire cider, but I think it's gonna be beautiful. And then we have garlic, so we're gonna add lots of garlic. And then typically there's horseradish root. So horseradish, Sometimes it's hard to find the root. You might find other roots, like uh, this is a burdock root, and this is really good for digestion. So <clears throat> if you can't find horseradish, you can use other roots as well. Um, this isn't going to be as like strong of a flavor. And then I'm gonna add in some rosemary and some sage, and that's, all we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the rest of this in the food processor, layer it up, and then we're going to pour about four cups of apple cider vinegar over our um, all of our ingredients. And then it's going to sit for six weeks. So we want it to be in a cool, dark place for six weeks. 
Oh, and we're gonna add honey. I'm so sorry, it's right in front of me. <laughs> and then we'll sit for six weeks, and then we'll take a cheesecloth or um, some type of strainer and strain out the solids from the liquid, and then bottle up the liquid part and compost the, the solid part. And we have our own apple cider vinegar.